In this video, we will see how to reset the password for the Windows system's local account if we don't remember the set password. Here we have two accounts in our system. The account name, TG, is the local account, whereas, the other one is a Microsoft account. This method only works if the account is local on the system. So, in our case, we will cover the process of resetting the password for the account name, TG. If we enter a wrong password and press enter, it will notify us that the entered password is incorrect. On clicking OK, we will be presented with an option to reset password. We will click on it. It will prompt us to answer three security questions that we had set and answered during the time of account creation. If we provide the answers correctly we will be able to reset the password. It also provides us an option to reset the password using a password reset disk, if we have created it. But suppose we have forgotten the answers to the security questions, and we have not created any password reset disk then, there is one more way to reset the local account password. To do so, we will modify this accessibility option. Originally, the accessibility button provides us with all these accessibility options to ease our interaction with the system. When we click the accessibility button, a file named utilman.exe is executed. Utilman.exe is a built-in Windows application that is designed to allow the user to configure accessibility options before logging into the system. We will take advantage of this. We will make modifications such that, clicking the accessibility button will open a command prompt, or say execute cmd.exe, instead of executing utilman.exe. Using that command prompt, we will reset the password. How we will do it, we will see in a few minutes. We will first restart our system in safe mode. To do so, click the power button. Then, press the shift key in keeping it pressed, click on restart. Now leave the shift key. After a while, our system will restart in the safe mode. We will get a few options to choose from. Click on Troubleshoot. Under Troubleshoot, select the Advanced Options. Inside Advanced Options, select the command prompt. You will see this command prompt with administrator privileges. We can see the prompt showing X Drive, Windows, System 32. The very first thing we will do is, verify on which drive our Windows operating system is installed. Generally, it's C Drive but it can be any other drive. We have to check that. First, we will check the C drive. To do so, we will first type C colon, then press enter. Now we will type DIR and press enter. It will list all the directories under the C drive. Here we have our Windows directory. That means the C drive is our Windows operating system drive. In your case, it may be in D or any other drive. If it is not found in C drive then do the same steps again, from the beginning, with D or other drive letters. Now, we will navigate to the Windows folder. We will type CD space Windows. Then, press Enter. This prompt shows that we are in C drive, Windows directory. Now inside the Windows directory, we will navigate to the System32 folder. So we will type CD space System32. Note that System32 is a single word. Then, press Enter. Now we are inside the System32 directory. System32 folder contains the executables utilman.exe, as well as cmd.exe, that we have talked about earlier in this video. Our strategy is that we will first rename the original utilman.exe file to some other name like utilman underscore bak.exe. Then we will rename the cmd.exe file, which is the command prompt, to utilman.exe. When we click on the Accessibility Options button, it executes the utilman.exe file, which is now this, in our case. This executable is originally a command prompt. So instead of opening actual accessibility options, it will now open a command prompt for us. Then using that command prompt, we will reset the password. Later, 
we will set all the files back to their original names. So let's begin with our commands. Please follow the commands in the exact order. Otherwise, it will result in system file corruption. Our first command will be to rename utilman.exe file to utilman underscore bak.exe. Command is ren space utilman.exe space utilman underscore bak.exe. Press enter. The second command will rename the cmd.exe file to utilman.exe. The command is ren space cmd.exe space utilman.exe. Press enter. The renaming task is done. Exit from the command prompt. Click continue. Our system will boot into the Windows operating system. Now click the Accessibility button. It now opens a command prompt. Let me increase the font size. Here we will type the following command. Control. Space. User passwords 2. The user passwords 2 is a single word. Then press enter. This will open a user accounts wizard. We can see both the accounts listed. We will select our local account TG and click on the reset password button. This will prompt us to set a new password. If you don't want to set any password or just want to remove the previous password then, keep both the fields blank and click OK. We will set a new password. We will type our new password. Here we will retype it to confirm. Then, click OK. Remember if your account is a Microsoft account then, you cannot change the password in this way. The reset password button will be grayed out. To reset your Microsoft account password, you will need to do it from its account.live.com website. This method is only useful for local accounts. Now, click OK. Now exit this command prompt. Let us try logging in with the new password. We are able to log into our local account with the new password. The next important step is to reset the file names to their original names. We will restart our system into safe mode again by pressing the shift key and clicking restart. We will click troubleshoot. Advanced options. Command prompt. We will navigate to our system dive which is C drive for us. Then, Windows folder. System32 folder. Now strictly follow the sequence of commands. We will rename the utilman.exe file to its original name, cmd.exe. Then we will rename the utilman underscore bak.exe file to utilman.exe. Exit the command prompt. Click Continue to boot into the Windows operating system. Now if we click the Accessibility button, we can see the accessibility options, as before. Now there may be a case when you try to access the command prompt from the safe mode and you get a prompt to enter the password. In that case, you will need a bootable installation media for your Windows. Here you can find how to create a bootable installation media. The link is also provided in the description. Once you have the bootable installation media, connect it to your system. From boot device options in your BIOS, boot from the bootable Windows installation media. The keys to accessing the boot options vary depending on the device manufacturer and model. Here are some probable keys to access boot options. You may search for the keys, as per your system, on the internet. 
Once you boot from the installation media, you will see the Windows Setup Wizard. At this stage, you can press Shift plus the F10 keys to open the command prompt. Or, click Next. Then click, Repair your computer link. Then click on Troubleshoot. Click on the command prompt. We will get the command prompt which now we can use to execute all the commands that we have seen earlier in this video. In this way, we have successfully reset our local account password and recovered our account. If you liked the information then, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your time and patience. Have a nice day.